Greetings, money messages for Zodiac sign Cancer. Let's see what they're doing with four of wands. I feel like you're making it on your own. You're doing a lot of things on your own. Someone is coming to help you or to work with you. And this person, they're giving me an, the angel, the vibration of an angel. All right. Um, you could be speaking some truth about some things that happen in family, people's family, like horrid things that people went through horrific things you may be a counselor a healer a healer a mediator i feel like you are so well loved you are a bringer of peace and calm tranquility you're like that um like a, a mother healer force where you may be a talk therapist yeah you're into spiritual counseling you move neg you move energies out of people with this grief card and you help people to see the truth or see the core of their pain that is your vibration your light worker all right i feel like you're getting more established as a healer a light worker because the establishment is is setting within yourself first well, at this point, because there was a time when you maybe doubted yourself, doubted your gifts, your purpose, but you are making a decision now to um to do this, your use your creative gifts as work and um becoming influential, making a name for yourself as well, creating your own brand and all these things. Um, there were places you were rejected from because but no well there were places you were rejected from but this is your place now so you may be working on your own you find your own job you're working from home you're making your own money you're selling your own products creating your own items but i hear your i hear glee um this is some some changes may be being made that may you may feel like they're being forced upon you having to do with society and you may feel like you're gonna need to adjust your business your brand to um welcoming all different types of and classes around you but this is a movement that you may not be supportive of but you can feel that it is coming so you're gonna like try to adjust your mind and energy to it but it's not something that's gonna take you over in, in a negative way because you're going to find the space to be who you are, um, have a, a stance, have a voice, and do things your way perfectly, and be reaping rewards and be successful in the midst of things, doing this service that is a natural gift of yours, that like is a part of your anointing, your grace, your talents. Um, you may have people watching you. I'm not sure if they're evil in you. You're a victim in the reverse, but... Um, they're watching to see if there's weakness in you, but they can't spot any out at this point in time. So they can't like try to come in and take you for granted. So that won't happen because you keep reflecting these people and showing them the truth of who they are. All right, that is a powerful gift that you have as well. That is why you are a healer, a light worker, because it's not easy for people to project onto you and bring you down. Because you um you are like magnificent. Too. Um, you transmute the energy or you reflect the energy back into where the root of where it's coming from. Um, you could be a goddess like Anubis or Isis. Um, Ibis may become, uh, the word Ibis may be significant to you. Yeah, you know how to, um, even if the, someone tried to victimize you in any way, you know how to take accountability to restore your own energy and to reset yourself, to adjust yourself. That is enlightenment. That is why you have been tasked with this great mission and this great power of word, of will, of voice, of truth, of light has been put in you. This is the truth of who you are with this recovery card. And it cannot be taken from you, your voice, your truth. I feel like maybe you're an angel, you know, but I feel like maybe for many of your life you've been like struggling with accepting that this is who you are i'm a light worker i'm a healer i'm a spiritual person i'm gifted i'm a reader i'm a shaman i write books i'm a creative person i'm a business-minded person and i i can be social this is what i do this is my thing people come to me and talk to me for a reason um i hear i am pathetic that may be a, a sound i heard in the distant part of my mind but i heard it um then um, it distracted me from what I was saying about myself, impartiality. Uh, these are seeds that are embedded within your subconscious about your vision 
along your journey that you also put there within yourself for some reason i hear mother oh my god despondence your mother um or your lineage or this is how a lot of people coming down in your line felt about themselves so you inherited some of that genetically spiritually how you think about yourself thought about yourself that would have like blocked you delayed you but right now i feel like better energies are being imprinted upon you about your success your worth so that is something that you've struggled with for a good time and it is a good thing to see that that evil energy is growing you're growing out of it all right that don't put en put down energy you're growing and ascending out, out of it you're not the same as like i'm getting family you may be legendary you may be the first to break spells you may be the first to be eating healing food or nurturing food or healthy food or putting money in your pocket or having like an art gallery of your own a school of your own a business of your own right that's your mission you may have been one of those people that created monumental things back in the days like pyramids and museums and schools that still exist today right um principles are principles you know how to handle your money people okay people want to come around to work with you but be mindful of snake like energies that wanted to like take your power in some way because of your home or your school or this your this thing that i said you created antecedent or inherited or will leave back someone that f was comparing themselves to you an auntie a mother that's been gossiping about you trying to spring salt sprinkle salt on your journey or trying to paint a negative picture of you but it's that they're projecting the bitterness or the the battered inside of themselves that they feel that they didn't get to walk a particular path they're trying to like put on this smile face that they're okay but they're still trying to project that deep um feeling that they have in themselves toward you but it's not working and because like i said cancerian you are a mirror energy a mother healing energy divine you're like water you're like glass you're like mirror you're like the sky you're everything you keep reflecting back to this person and speaking the truth at them letting directing the energy back into this person while also looking in yourself to see what is about you that this person is trying to get out of you so you're like literally mastering up leveling up you keep doing so you've also learned that the people may have made attempts at you you've been learning this uh, that you are a survivor as well as some things that came close to like the near end the situation oh my god miracle you can't believe i'm telling you you survived you're a survivor and you're a living survivor you may be telling your story no the energy of people looking at you have being a survivor i'm um, feeling envious as well trying to compare to you because they are afraid of learning from you and walking the road that you had to walk to put in that energy the discipline the militancy the um the consciousness, the conscious thinking, awareness of self, self-discipline, um, intention, focus. They may think that they cannot mentally, spiritually, they don't have the capacity to 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 able to fulfill their own life, but still they think that they can, they have it to walk in your shoes. Okay, so that's the energy prayer. You are also showing that you are very close to God. You're close to most high energies, divine, divinely, with the prayer card energies, miracle. You too are a miracle. Even your birth into this world is a miracle. Your survival of your family is a miracle. A lot of things that you experienced. And now you're looking forward to like greater stability and you may be afraid but you're going to find a partner. I said it at the beginning. You're going to find a mate. You're going to find a, something that's going to help you to feel stable. This may be a man. Oh my gosh, look. I promise you, you're going to find a soulmate. A person that's not going to leave you. Showing up for you. Guide you. Protect you. Help you to feel grounded. Hold you and say, I'm here. 
I'm here with you. It's like someone that can help you through your nightmares, the traumas, the triggers. This is a stable person in business or because this is a money reading or someone, a life partner. They're probably going to have children with your life. It will be very, very beautiful, I feel like. And the soulmate energy is also about your success and you growing into your worth, your regal energies before you know it better than you think. You don't, you're going to come up to a time where you're like, oh my God, I'm here. I'm here. But you may have still been thinking you're working toward it, working toward it. But one day you're going to sit on the throne and think, I am here. I am doing it. I'm doing the life. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And I'm not afraid. Abundance is yours for real in real life. You're not afraid. You're clear. Your spirit is open. Possibilities, potential. Your investments. you even receiving and reclaiming houses, lands, properties, monuments, businesses, like I was saying, from a past, past life that you and your family invested in or you inherited. These are your natural gifts and talents too that you're owning and claiming and using for your prosperity, your progression in this new time in your life. I feel especially after people or society cast it down or took it from you or separated it, now you're owning. You're owning your heritage too, your culture. You may be... Um, looking into what cultures you come from asian african all these things you may be looking into the, your mixture you, you know what i'm saying you're you're <laughs> you may be looking into that yeah i feel like you're about to inherit something is about to be passed down to you all right and it is really good yeah you're making some business connections i hear wifey okay that's what you're gonna be called oh my for real, you're aligning with a Leo energy or a pride energy, a, a masculine lion energy that's your man, that one that prowls around and circles the turf to um, protect his, his woman and his, his cubs. That's the person you're manifesting in your life. You're gonna, every time you look out, you're going to see them. This person may drive past you. This, if this, like, this is a business too. Your whole life is about to be full of happiness, success, and love, prosperity, health, breakthroughs, pregnancies, good news. The house again showing up, buildings, investments. You're gonna also be putting on some weight where you need it to. You're gonna feel good inside out for sure. Marriage and union, and I did say children coming up. It's a home life, steadiness, even family around you. That is helping to make you feel more stable and secure. Alright, this is the Three of Swords card. An ex is coming back into your life. A father. Or this may be, a. it seems like a sad news, but it isn't about you. Or it, it's something around in some way, but it's some. It's something, it's making you more aware also of love, true love, family energies, love for yourself. So essentially, this is good news self-worth and abundance inheritance um just knowing more of the truth of who you are let's say someone passed and left something for you but you didn't know that you had royalty so you know now royalties too um so you know now that something's been left for you so because of that you know more of your name you know who you are you feel more connected right that's the energy you feel more real you know you're gonna also be moving away or shifting your energy cancer your renewal again you're gonna get so a moving truck come deliver some like furniture or carry new things to you all right and you're gonna be releasing some old things right ten of swords it may get so be mindful of the weather conditions cloudiness of your thought your um you your lack of focus or willpower and you may feel like confined to your room stuck in your thoughts watching your phone you know not living your giving the best energy of your day hurrying here hurrying there not really living and basking and delighting in life and receiving what is yours um, there were times in your past that you were overlooked in your youthful energies as you grew up, but that is not happening anymore. Most times, like directly, not overlooking you. The opposite of overlooking is directly, intentionally focusing up on you, highlighting you, and putting you directly to the front, putting you to the front, and focusing on you in the front. That is the energy that you're moving into right now. So. It's your time. 
answer the questions, answer your calling, be proud of yourself. Let go off of the past, the fake things that's not serving you, energies, people, places. I look forward to welcoming in, accepting in the, the new connections that you are forming right now. There's something about maybe a father. We have the devil card, which is an energy of procrastination. I'm feeling you're going to be liberated as well. In some truth and awareness, joy card about uh, jealousy around you, complacency, evil eyes, what's been draining your energy. You're also going to learn some truth on how to bring back balance in your life, bringing back the love. All right? You could be bringing back good vibrations around you to people, places, animals, and things. All right, That's your energy. So three of swords, you're not... Ten of Swords, you're not a person that stays stuck in darkness and in depression. You're a teacher. All right. And the Devil card, you help people to... Your your work is like you work in the dark and you do shadow work. And um, Lion or Leo or Lioness energy. Mm -hmm. But you have a feminine energy too, I feel like, or masculine. That was lib uh, competing with you for a particular posesh position. Um, but you're about to be set free of, of those energies and entities. Oh my God, the next card is the Nine of Wands. For real, like jealousy, hypocrisy. and But you're, they're about to fly away. <sighs> Imagine that. Imagine all of these ones like being just lifting up, growing. You, need, you didn't even know. I don't know, maybe you sensed that they were planted, but they had wings and they could fly away. So the moment we call them out, they're going to become alive and dissipate from you, fly away from around you. Spells were sent toward you, evil eyes sent toward you. None of that is going to be able to affect you. You're spiritually protected, and I'm telling you about a, st a strong masculine or feminine energy present in your life. Imagine like, imagine this is a movie, you run in a bar and some like, you know, toxic low vibe people come in because you're a feminine. They thought that they could push you over, push you around. But then, um, you know, karate or you're protected or you're angelic, you're of God, you're not of, earth. you're literally like an angel and they didn't know. Or imagine someone else walks in the bar and like just the, just their essence and their presence makes these little ones just scatter pull up the energy stop trying to intimidate you stop trying to interfere in your life and just leave you be that's what's happening for you right so you can successfully happily continue progressing all right because i feel like torment or bullying was around you in some way but that's about to change. Yeah, look at this protector energy. Knight of Swords, like I said. And this person show up on time, every time. They are the prayer answer that you didn't even know you were really praying for. And they got you. This is like a miracle. I tell you, like, that's why I'm telling you most. I put you up front and keep an eye on you. Right? So always there's an, an entity watching you like you have a wolf in the woods in front of your in front of your bar and it can it sees whenever anything comes around and it then it appears to to shrug them out leave um to run them away and then it just goes back into the woods and watch you protect you this is your i don't know where it came from but you have an angel like that around you this could be like a real person they watch you, they protect you while you sleep, they talk good about you. This is like an angel, like you manifested this. I don't know, you did something good in life. <laughs> you know, self-worth, you're such a blessing, it's real true. Oh my gosh, you see? And it's proven, that's the answer. Oh my gosh, and it's double confirmed, abundance and the ace of pentacles. You're not lazy and you're not going to be waiting forever. If you've been um, wondering that, someone hear you, feel you, know you, the angels, the universe, um, that you're earning so much money, making so much money and making great shifts up here. You're building greater, becoming more stable. Here, if you made, if you invested in something, it's going to pay back off for you. Balance is the energy. You're going to get back from your investments. 
like you were more than what you were imagined and there is someone mystical around you maybe a person of church or high spirituality or they know about some laws of this and laws of that and codes they know about the secrets behind the, in the doors they probably don't reveal their face or their intentions to you but they may be very flowy and mystical and deep in thinking and they watch you protect you we don't even know from where this person come from but they we know that they are here for you and they show up every time they're literally very actively present actively they give you ideas you know they talk to you through your spirit, how you spend your time, how you spend your money. Even today, you're about to be divinely guided. So have faith and watch things grow. Watch you continue to walk on the path that you're meant to walk on.